they see the boat, they don't like make it. Make sure you don't pull too hard when he gets close to the boat too, North. Make sure that drag's not too tight. Not a huge one, but a nice one, for sure. Goody. Coming to you live from Hubbard's Marina, the home of the Florida Fisherman 2. This is a very special trip, and I'm very excited about it because not only is it a 44-hour full moon trip, but it is the first trip we've done in two months. And if you know me at all, that's an awful long time not to go fishing. So we're here, we're ready to get it done. And the boat's been in dry dock for about two months. And we're out now and we're ready to go. Fresh from his world tour of Hawaii and all things Polynesia and the Pacific, I bring you Will McClure. Yes, sir. So, so I was, my go ahead. one story is I was there and I, my razor, we go to go snorkeling and my razor's been on in my bag the whole time and I didn't bring my charger. So I shaved my mustache with scissors, with tiny scissors. And that's why I'm- Is that what it is? Hair. I thought maybe the cat licked it off. <laughs> yeah. So this is, I was telling them earlier, this is a very special trip because it's the first time we've been fishing in like two months. Yeah, these guys are jonesing out here. You should hear them back there. Yeah, I know I, for me, that's a long, that's a, like a lifetime. Yeah. yeah, I didn't do any fishing over there either. I did a little bit of fishing while the boat was out of the water. I lost some huge snooks but couldn't land one. Uh, but that's all the fishing I've done in two months. But we're headed back out and we got we're thinking it's a good time of year. We got a little bit of weather. The fish are gonna be biting. And I have a good feeling. Ready for them to chew. Yeah, we're gonna try to get up there on some gags, but we're not sure if the gags are ready yet. We're still gonna try it anyway. Well, I'm ready. Oh yeah, we're ready, but we're not sure. If they're ready. <laughs> they might not have gotten the memo. No. Now you can see them going up, getting ready to do the work. Beautiful picture perfect day out here right now, probably in the 70s. It's another amber jack. It's digging. 
They like it when it comes up in the water column. And they like it. There we go. Nice. Way to go, bud. Appreciate it. That was nice. It just wants to go back. Oh. Oh, I hate you. Oh well, it's a good fish. Man, just caught a gag. May have another one on there. Feels like one. Gag is first, nice. First half, first half, second, so did I. Well, still a, a gap to twist this hook out so I can save my, make sure I save my weight, please. Make him smile. There you go. Oh, he's up here. Man needs a nurse, but I don't think that's what they had in mind. Extra batteries? Yes. Okay. Does it, does it rhyme with uh, clapper? He yeah. seems clapper? to think he has a red snapper. Ooh. That's a mango. Batteries. Actually, he's got a nice mango. That's a mango. Right. Beauty. Even better. Very yeah. nice fish. Yeah, perfect. Nice mango. Good job, sir. Thanks, yes, sir. sir. Yeah, I had something grab one of my fish on the way up. Took off. <laughs> All right, we got the mate John try feeding line in to, to brother Gene here. We'll have to edit out that hat he's got on. <laughs> we'll Photoshop a gator hat on. <laughs> take another run but you probably know that when they see the boat they don't like make it. Make sure you don't pull too hard when he gets close to the boat too North. Make sure that drag's not too tight. Yeah, the kid. 
carrot cake on here. He makes a carrot cake, shares it with the public out here. It's really good. I'm going to get some of it here. Right. Okay, so we have lasagna. Garlic bread. That's great. Mixed vegetables. Who could ask for more? And then there's carrots. Well, there's the John's Pass Bridge off in the distance, and we're almost home, or at least the home of the Florida Fisherman 2. John's Pass, Madeira Beach, Hubbard's Marina. We're coming off a 44-hour trip, the first trip we've done in about two months because the boat's been in dry dock. Guys did a good job on it. We had a pretty stellar trip. I limited out on my mangoes and my grouper, gag grouper. And most people, I would say, got a limit of mangoes, and there were a pretty good number of gags caught. You'll see back at the dock and a smattering of other species as well. And we'll show you all of that when we get back. Talk to you then. Is there more coming from the front or is this gonna be it? Uh, I think I'll put another get more. Okay. We got barrels of fish coming from the bar. Is that it, Gunboy? There's Captain Dylan Hubbard giving his uh, morning report. He's live on Facebook right now. Go to Hubbard's Marina Facebook page. You'll be able to see him. He also does a Sunday evening live show as it goes across uh, his Facebook channel, Hubbard's Marina. I think it's also on YouTube. Check out hubbardsmarina.com for more details. You can see it on my Facebook channel, John Martin Talks as well, 8.30 every Sunday night. Well, but as far as this 44 hour full moon trip goes, they caught some nice fish, big stringers of mangroves, Big, big gag groupers, some scant groupers, some good variety. It looks like you guys did really well, huh, Will? Yeah, we had a really steady mangrove bite throughout the night. A lot of guys got their limit or close to it and went to bed for a while at night and fished in the daytime and picked a few grouper at night, but hit them a dozen or so in the morning. Nice. And uh, lost a bunch with those. But we were able to get probably 25 gags on board. Wow. And most of that was at night? Most of the action was at night and then it kind of got picky during the day? Yeah, it got picky during the day. It was kind of calm and normal midday fishing. And then it picked up again towards sundown. But the most of our fish were night and early morning. And the gags really bit well early in the morning. So gags bit best early in the morning. Mangroves bit best through the night but through the day you were able to put together some nice catches. I saw some big uh, trigger fish in here too, huh? Yeah, we got a couple nice trigger fish and uh, some, uh, we hit a big vermilion spot. You don't see a lot of them. We got a, There's a fatty a vermilion. nice big vermilion spot. Another fat. And, uh, just to pick throughout the day, we hit a few groupers here and a few groupers there. They're really close to being in right now. Yeah. You can tell. It's like almost right on the verge of crazy chaotic gags. Yeah, we need we got weather coming in like you were mentioning and that might do it or one more little weather and they might be there. They yeah. Be. Yeah, it's just on the verge. Captain Brian put these guys on the meat for sure. Lots of nice fish and a good steady bite. That's awesome. How was the long, weather? We've been home long enough for them to all gain a pound. <laughs> <laughs> they were waiting for you, huh? That's right. How was the weather? Nah, a little chunky at night, got real nice during the day, and a beautiful ride home. Nice. What about this Wahoo? What was this thing caught on? North Lakes, purple and pink. The purple and pink Nomad. Purple and pink Nomad. 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 Nomad's got that stuff there. The, 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 the DTX. Nice. And we got it in 100 feet of water. 100 feet of water. Shallow Wahoo troll. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice, nice pile. I'm glad to be back good fishing. 
Yeah, back at it after a little bit of a hiatus. It didn't matter. They got back after it. And we've got that live stream show tonight. If you guys want to catch the live stream show, we'll talk more about how to catch these fish and give you guys some tips and tricks on how to capitalize. There's the man himself in the black shirt right here, Denoris, who caught that big wahoo. I was asking Uncle Ron, wasn't he that walleye guy up there was catching the ball? I said he was in the 30s, we'll see. I'm not tall enough to read the shell. Yeah, yeah. Don't hurt yourself, oh, Cap. 31-3. That's what I said, he was about 30 something. Right? That's what the middle grounds are then. If you're in the middle ground, you're in 120 on the bottom, 80, 85 on the top. If you're not in that depth, you're not in the middle ground. Look at these show-offs from Alabama. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well, they have to have something they're happy about after last night. Oh, 